In today's video, I'm going to show you how to share your phone screen in OBS for either for live streaming or recording content. Now, this is going to be useful if you're doing some sort of educational content, maybe, and you want to show uh, something that can be on your phone. Or even if you're doing something like gaming on your phone and you want to show that on your stream, basically using OBS. Another use case scenario would be if you're doing reaction videos and you want to show what's on your screen, maybe you are on social media on instagram or twitter maybe you trying to share a tweet whatever you're doing you want to show on your uh, screen actually through obs from your phone you're gonna be able to do this using your phone of course and obs so this is not take much time let's get into it what is going on guys my name is sam you're watching the production tips and tools helping you master live streaming so now when it comes to sharing your phone screen actually there's so many ways of doing it but today i'm going to show you the method you can use for free there's some apps that you can use either wireless or wired but most of them are actually paying maybe eventually i'm going to make a video about those but today i'm going to show you a most the most reliable way of doing it which is going to be wired and your phone is going to be connected to your computer okay now we're going to be using an iphone however the same method can apply if you change uh, the actual adapter to an android phone now we have this little adapter which is going to be one of the things you're going to need it's a lightning to av adapter or lightning to hmi adapter this is made by apple so i'll do i do encourage you to get the one that's made specifically and made by apple all right the next thing you're going to need of course you're going to need an hmi cable because we're going to be connecting our phone using an hmi cable in that case it's 100 reliable it's not gonna cut out or anything and if you're playing back videos and stuff like that youtube videos or gaming you're sure that you're gonna get full resolution the last thing we're gonna need is gonna be a capture card now this is a capture card that will change or convert hmi from hmi to usb and this is the usb part you're gonna connect to your computer i'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute now if you already have like a video switch or something like the atem mini ATEM Mini Pro or any other uh, HDMI switcher, you can skip the capture card uh, step and actually go from HDMI directly into your video switcher and you're going to be able to switch your phone feed as an angle. All right. Next thing, we're going to put everything together and we're going to connect to OBS. I'm going to show you how everything works. The first thing, of course, you're going to need your phone. I forgot to mention it. And uh, you're going to connect the phone, um, you know, AV little adapter into your phone. Now, next thing, we're going to go ahead and connect our HDMI cable. Again, this little adapter has an HDMI port here. So you're going to connect the HDMI cable into the adapter, just like so. And then the last step, it's not the last one, but almost the last one. You're going to connect your capture card into the other end of the HDMI cable. Now, if you don't have the, if you're not using this capture card, you can use again your 8 or 8 Mini Pro or any other switcher that can take HMI. So if you didn't need the capture card, you can actually go directly into something like uh, any HMI video switcher. Go there and you're gonna be able to switch it as an actual, an actual camera, all right? But for now, we're gonna be using this so that we can go directly into OBS. So another thing maybe I would suggest if you have some sort of like a stand that can or a holder that can hold your phone, depending on what you're trying to do so that you can use it while you're actually live, it would be great to have. Again, this is going to be subjective. It's going to depend on what you're trying to do. Of course, the last step, as I mentioned, we're going to take the capture card and connect it into my computer. So any USB port that's available on your computer should do the job. So I don't need to show you how to do that. You should know. All right. So now that we have everything connected, we're going to go ahead and actually open OBS just like so. And right now I have OBS open. And what I'm going to do again, I don't have to screen record my phone because you don't have to download any application. This thing is supposed to work just like that. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to OBS and I'm going to go under just go anywhere in OBS under scenes. And then we're going to create a new scene. And the scene we're gonna call it, let's say, uh, phone, phone screen. I'm gonna hit OK. And I'm gonna go under the scene. I'm gonna hit the plus sign. And I'm gonna go ahead and click video capture device. And then I'm gonna call this iPhone. 
and then I'm gonna hit OK. And then under iPhone, because it's connected through the capture card that we connected to the computer, I'm gonna go under device and I'm gonna find it. It's gonna be in one of the devices. And because it's a generic, it's a generic capture card, it's called USB video. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually connect it. And as you can see, select it. And as you can see, it's gonna come with these weird colors. The reason is because my phone is not turned on, but I can go ahead and actually, actually my phone is turned on by it's locked. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually unlock it. And that you can see my phone now. And there's some notes, some weird notes that I was just, I was just doing, uh, testing it. But as you can see, we have the phone is coming in, no problem. What I can do again, as you can see, I can uh, really just like, you know, can browse and do some stuff in here and it's gonna show up. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to notes. Okay, what we need to do, we're gonna go to resolution type. We're gonna make it custom and then we're gonna go to resolution. We're gonna make it 1920 by 1080. And then uh, we wanna make sure we go to FPS and then we wanna uh, if you're gaming, you want to do 60 frames per second. Uh, if you're not gaming, you can actually keep it at 30 frames per second. It's still good. And uh, again, if you do anything that has to do with motion and sports, you want to do 60 frames per second. Uh, but other than that, you can go to color range, make it full and everything else, leave it the way it is. Now, if you want to have some audio, let's say if you were doing like some reaction or videos, uh, maybe you want people to listen to some videos that you're watching on your phone, what you can do, you can actually go ahead and click use custom audio. Now what's going to do? So you, you click here where it says use custom audio and you want to choose audio device. Now the audio device you want to bring in, it's going to be the uh, microphone from the phone, which is coming through HDMI and through the capture card. So we're going to go here and look for digital audio interface. And I have two capture cards, so this is a, a different one. So it should be usually it's a digital audio as well. So it's gonna be this one right here, digital audio interface USB. This one right here. So as you can see now, again, you wanna make sure depending on the capture card you're using. If you're using something like the Atem Mini Pro, you wanna make sure you you select that as a camera and as an audio source. So whatever capture card that you're using. The name is going to show for both audio and video and you need to select that for <coughs> for, uh, for for adding to OBS. OK, again, another cool thing that I like and I'm just going to go ahead and actually click OK. But another cool thing I like if you have to enter your password, as you can see, it does not capture the password numbers. I just entered my password, but you couldn't see it on screen is because it's just a nice feature that protects some sensitive information like entering your passwords in case you have to enter your password when you live people can see it which is awesome all right so that's pretty much it as you can see my phone is showing no problem everything i do here is is showing maybe you had a whatsapp um chat that you want to show on screen or if you want to go to youtube uh let's go to youtube and i mean now we got diana who's live right now so if i wanted to watch uh, I can go ahead and watch her video. Of course, you have some ads, uh, but yeah, if you want to show, I don't know, something else, we got some shorts here going on. Uh, you can watch some shorts, um, you know, there you go. So like you can do whatever you want, whatever you're going to do on the phone is going to show up on screen. No problem. Another thing you, you can do, as you can see, we have some audio now. I'm going to play some uh, some of Diana's video. And if you want to go full screen, you can go full screen like that. As you can see, it's going to auto rotate. OK, but I'm going to show you how to actually make it look really good. OK, so <clears throat> if you wanted to do some stuff here for you to get the audio, you can go here uh, under the three dots. OK, and then because you want to be able to monitor the audio when you share uh, your screen, your phone's audio, especially if you're doing a reaction video, maybe you want to make sure you can hear the audio. You want to make sure you, you go to the three dots and then go to advanced audio. So three dots here, advanced audio properties. And you want to go under the phone's audio and you want to make sure you choose monitor and output. And then from there, you should be able to hear the audio in your headphones. Right now, if I put my headphones, I'm going to be able to hear the audio. 
and it's being recorded right now so you should be able to even hear it on this video other than that again i can leave full screen and leave it like this now this doesn't look interesting as you can see it's just your phone again this is 100 wireless but if you want to take it to the next level what you can do is you can actually um add your camera maybe so i'm gonna assume maybe you're doing some sort of like reaction video so what i could do let's say if you want to keep your phone vertical all the time maybe you're not gonna use like the horizontal kind of style what you could do is you can actually crop it just like this so you want to go make you you want to go to your keyboard and then hit alt and then crop it just like so something like this right so if you want to show mostly most of the time it's going to be vertical video uh, not video but vertical content so you're just going to have it all the time like this and you just want to browse show that maybe you want to go to notes you know, some notes this is just an example and show things like this right you can actually have it just cropped like this and then what you can do you can bring in your actual camera so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh see if my webcam is on and um let me see if i can add a new camera here so basically what you could do you could, you could go under sources and then you can uh hit the add a new video capture device and then let's call it this let's call it camera okay and then i'm gonna hit okay and i'm gonna see what's available in terms of camera so i'm just gonna see my osbat camera if it's available it's probably not available but i'm gonna go ahead and turn on my virtual webcam here streamlabs so i can add so if you had a camera available right now i have there you go so right now i have streamlabs desktop virtual camera available now this could be any camera that you you have available on your system um and as you can see it shows up so i can go ahead and add that camera again you want to make sure you use uh custom here resolution you want to make sure it matches um what we have in obs so i can click ok here and as you can see i can have my camera maybe have it somewhere here okay so something like this and then have my phone all right so I have my phone on screen i can make it a little smaller something like this boom right so it could be something like this again you can design it if you want to have it horizontal you can do horizontal if you want to show more of your phone less of your picture you can do that i just want to show you an example a quick example okay and then i can have my camera something like this and then what you could do you can also go ahead maybe and add a overlay so i can go to to the plus sign and i go to media source and an, um media source i'm just gonna go say overlay <clears throat> and i'm gonna click ok and i want to make sure i hit loop and then i'm gonna go to browse and i want to make sure i go to one of my overlays i'm gonna show you in a minute where i got them from uh i can go ahead and actually add the background this time okay and then this is a moving background i got from some of my overlays and you want to make sure the camera is on the top of the overlay okay so if you have something like this okay which you can get uh of course you want to make sure you lock it okay so if you have something like this now as you can see it looks more professional okay you can go to streamtools.com if you're streaming and this is where you're gonna get some good overlays that you can use to actually level up your streaming okay so this is something that this some of these overlays that i use myself you can go ahead and grab yourself a pack here and uh you're gonna be able to have those overlays actually you can use them for live streaming and stuff like that uh you have some demos here as you can see this is you know some, uh, some of the packs will include countdown timers i will include different scenes and different layouts for uh, sharing your screen sharing your phone as uh, having guests on all the good stuff that you need for your live streaming it's gonna level up your live streaming game for sure so you want to make sure to check out streamtools.com for the best overlays uh, when it comes to streaming so once you have it of course it's gonna come in a pack 
that you can actually go ahead and grab some of the stuff that you need to design things like this i just wanted to show you guys as you can see i can do whatever i want on my iphone it's gonna show up on the screen and this is how you can do it but if you want to make it look more cleaner add some specific overlays to make it look good you want to make sure you check out my next video because i'm going to show you how to customize it customize it make it look good especially for reaction videos or any other educational instructional videos that you maybe want to create using your phone as another angle to kind of share your screen whatever's going on on your screen make sure you check out this video and i'll see you there guys take care